A larger display and more contemporary design elements are expected in the fourth generation of the iPhone SE 4. And we could also see the end of LCDs and iPhone models in favor of an improved OLED display. So beautiful and bright and golden. <laughs> In this video, we will be talking about the leaks we have gathered so far about the iPhone SE 4. Price and release date. There are quite a few unknowns when trying to forecast when the iPhone SE will be released. Unlike other smartphones whose release dates can be nearly precisely predicted due to the consistency with which they are delivered every year. Firstly, it's not released every year, and we cannot be quite sure which year a new iPhone SE will join the family. No, actually, we have no idea. For example, we saw the novel iPhone SE come in March 2016, the iPhone SE 2 followed in April 2020, and the iPhone SE 3 came two years later in March 2022. But we can still say that we are expecting the new iPhone SE 4 in the early spring of its release year. More precisely, Macworld indicates, Ross Young of Display Supply Chain Consultants, a reliable industry expert who specializes in displays and is very accurate with his predictions, also thinks a new iPhone SE will arrive in 2024. Next year? Next year? This could, of course, be the iPhone SE 4. Also, unlike most of Apple's extremely costly flagships, the iPhone SE offers customers an affordable but quality alternative. Later in this video, we will talk about the chip we expect the iPhone SE to house, which will have a great influence on its performance. So keep watching to find out. We expect the iPhone SE 4 to cost about the same as its predecessor, the iPhone SE 3, which is sold at $429. Features We are already aware that the iPhone SE is designed based on a previous iPhone model. So for example, the SE 3 was based on the iPhone 8. Rumors have it that the fourth generation iPhone SE will be based on the iPhone XR, and that would mean a lot of changes, which are expected to include the removal of the home button and touch ID in favor of face ID, as well as a bigger phone and the much anticipated larger display, which we will discuss in detail later in this video. So keep watching to find out. This is contradicted though by Ming Chi Kuo, an Apple expert who believes that the next iPhone SE 4 will resemble the iPhone 14 more. Also, he thinks that the SE might have a Touch ID power button instead of a Face ID, similar to the ones seen on the iPad Air, iPad, and iPad Mini. Despite the fact that this design has not been used in an iPhone before and may appear improbable, it may assist to keep the price of the incoming SE low and set it apart from the other iPhones. We will be bringing you the most recent information about the iPhone SE 4 as well as other devices, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to ensure that you don't miss any of our timely updates. At your service! Other feature upgrades that we are expecting include an upgrade in the design of the iPhone SE 3, which looks a lot like the 2014 iPhone 6 design to a contemporary appearance, which users will appreciate because it will give them the chance to own a more aesthetically pleasing iPhone at a low cost. The current SE's 4.7-inch display, which is far too small for users to enjoy using the screen in cases of typing and watching videos, is anticipated to be upgraded. Rumors concerning the upcoming iPhone SE 4 seem to give us hope, as quite a few of them claim that the iPhone SE will actually come with a larger display. While we have Ross Young saying that Apple has not yet finalized the iPhone SE 4's design and that they are still contemplating a 5.7 or 6.1-inch display, Ming Chi Kuo is of the view that Apple has settled on a 6.1-inch display. Whatever the case, we know there will be a bigger display on the SE 4 when it launches. Also, by virtue of the fact that the SE is the only model still using the outmoded LCD display, we have high hopes that the fourth generation SE will finally ditch the LCD for an OLED option. This is highly probable, as Ming Chi Kuo also stated in a Twitter post that the screen material will be upgraded to OLED. 
We also expect a step up in camera features, especially by adding the night mode feature, which will improve the user's experience with using the camera at night by, for example, producing clearer images in low light situations. Since the iPhone SE 4 is expected to be released next year, it is assumed that it will come after the iPhone 15 series and therefore could use the A16 Bionic chip, which will be available in the standard iPhone 15 models. What characteristics do you like to see most in the next fourth generation iPhone SE? We will love to know. Tell us in the comment section below. We will bring you more updates about products like this in the future. Until the next video, stay safe.